All right, DOT, welcome to another episode of Talk of Titans, this time here featuring the dev livestream recap for June 20th, 2018. Not a whole lot to cover this time around. Uh, we've got some pretty typical news that came around this dev live stream. So I'll just kind of hit a few points. Uh, of course, we saw the return of Matt, Haig, and Dom. And I uh, will give kudos to Matt, who did actually win this week's uh, battle contest. So uh, it takes him, I think, from his previous score here of five, now up to six. So he's uh, smack dab in the middle between Quiff and Dom, which... Of course, probably isn't the big news, but uh, as far as other news goes that we got from this event, uh, they really kind of got the same round of questions. When are troops? When are spells? When are new this? When are new that coming? And we got the same answer of soon, soon, soon. So I won't cover too much of that until we actually have some news to truly introduce of what's happening in game. So this stream was pretty much focused around the new Titans, Malcor here. Uh, just got a good look at him as far as what goes on with this. Uh, again, double drop of a titan almost uh, just the other day we had his uh, brother uh, that was released and this is the new one the four star fire unak berserker uh, the unique part is that he will have set skills but you can check out the event rundown for more information on him the other news we got here is just another Pantheon collection being added, which is the Unak 2. This here kind of gives us a sneak peek of what type of relic is included there, which is the Fire Tome. Uh, in here, we've got Titan Fire Damage, Fire Spell Gains, as well as Titan and Troop Resist Against Fire. And this is just a peek at what the 3 star and 4 star will actually start at with level 1. So again, the news is more Pantheon collections will continue to come to your Pantheon. So yet again, I would not recommend getting rid of any troops, even though they may not be included in a Pantheon collection at the moment. Now, the other news is that Malcor will come with completely set skills. So again, we got a chance to see those. Uh, again, you could look at the uh, Fire War event rundown uh, for more information on him. We also saw the return of a banner relic. This time we have the Banner of Flame. Uh, again, I see this being a trend that we will have these damage for Titan and Troop buff uh, relics being added to the game more and more. As well as these runes, we've got the Flaming Rune, which is, again, Titan and Army damage, uh, Spell Gain, and Critical, which uh, falls in line. I think, again, we'll continue to see more and more runes coming. Now, the big news came from the devs actually showing us the brand new spell that uh, Matt has been working on. The news has been that he's been working on lightning troops and lightning spells. This is the all new storm spell that uh, they rolled out, which is, as you saw there, just a quick rectangle of spells. Now the unique part to it is notice how it concentrates on the troops. So it's a bit of a uh, smart spell. Uh, so to say, it hones in on any troops that were within the radius. And it's a pretty large radius, but it, I like the fact that it's also a bit more rectangular rather than uh, round like the meteor spell. Notice when there's no troops there, how it just kind of actually goes berserk. But watch when those Imperials enter the square, how it targets them. That's what's really unique about this spell is it will target enemies within the square or when they enter the square. But if you drop in just open space, it basically just goes nuts. Now, this probably could be pretty good against single troops is what they recommended just because um, large troops like the militia or the unex still have some of them left so that is something all new we finally get our first official look at on the live stream they also gave us a heads up for what's coming on the next week and uh, with it we've got the release of this new titan uh Meku, who is going to be released on Wednesday, May 27th in an Alliance War. We also know that on Monday, the 25th, there is going to be a new Relic Festival. Uh, a little shady in what the details are to it, but expect on Monday, Relic Festival taking place, and on Wednesday, that all-new Titan. So that is pretty much what we've got as far as news from this Talk of Titan livestream. Again, plenty of other questions that were asked. But we still are continuing to get the maybe, I don't know, soon, sooner than soon, or just slightly later than soon. So again, I'll continue to report back when we've got news. But I'm Jaeger, and I'm signing out of this Talk of Titans. Thanks for tuning in.